Plus, and I wouldn't wish for anybody to go through what I've been through. A major health warning. Hundreds of hip replacement patients getting metal poisoning from a certain type of implant. Next. A hidden health warning that has an impact on millions of people throughout the world. It feels like somebody just taking a sledgehammer at you. If the pain is so excruciating. But why a procedure designed to help ease your pain may actually be making matters worse for some people and why it could lead to more surgery. Six million people worldwide have had it done to alleviate pain and discomfort, but for some, it's only made things worse. It's like a, a migraine headache, and it throbs, throbs, throbs. If I sit too long, it's not comfortable. Okay. If I stand too long, it's not comfortable. Tonight, a warning for you or anyone you know who's had a hip replacement. Doctors say they're seeing hundreds of cases of metal poisoning from a certain type of hip implant. It feels like somebody just taking a sledgehammer at you. The pain is so excruciating. Doctors told 48-year-old Frederico Gray a total hip replacement would alleviate the severe pain in his hips. But weeks after the surgery, he says he was still suffering. I'm constantly going to the emergency room to deal with the same pain that I dealt with this before. After nearly 30 trips to the hospital, Gray learned that the cause of his pain was actually cobalt poisoning, the result of metal ions leaching into his body from the implants in his hips. I said I wouldn't wish for anybody to go through what I've been through. Like Gray, about a million people worldwide have implants made out of metal, typically a combination of cobalt, chromium, and titanium. Doctors say it's rare, but in some people, the implant's ball and socket start to wear. That causes small amounts of metal to enter the body and can eventually become toxic. In some cases, the metal is released slowly and can cause systemic problems such as heart failure or thyroid disease, rashes, or neurologic symptoms. Dr. Robert Bunning is the associate medical director at MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital. He says it's unclear how many people will get metal poisoning. There have been hundreds of cases documented, and there's probably many more that go undiagnosed. In most cases, patients can tell there's something wrong. They'll experience new or worsening pain in the hips or clicking in the joint. But now doctors are seeing some cases where people don't have any of those symptoms. Instead, they're developing unexplained heart disease. There's people that have been life-threatening heart failure from elevated cobalt levels. The good news here is that once the implant is removed, any heart problems or issues with pain will typically reverse. That's it's what Frederico Gray is hoping. He but just had his hand old hand hip hand removed. Hand okay. Doctors implanted a newer plastic version instead. I just want to let people know what I've been through. And because I had another surgery, it actually saved me. The FDA regulates these hip implants and says there's not enough evidence to support routine testing for metal poisoning. But if people are experiencing symptoms after a hip replacement, they should talk to their physician immediately. We sure hope this new one works for him. That's awful. Yeah, so do we. Chilly.